Well guys, welcome back at the Modern PSUs. Now in case you bought one of these, Ryzen 5 5600 GT and want to tweak it to get more performance out of it, both out of the CPU itself but also out of the graphics part, the APU, which is why it's called the GT, this is the right video for you and uh, actually this is going to work for the Ryzen 5 5600G as well, in case you're interested. And really any APU on the AM4 platform is gonna be the same. So first side is gonna be just to remove the throttling, decrease your temperature, decrease your power consumption, and increase your FPS on the CPU part. Then the second side, we will do the GPU part itself and show you how to get a bit more out of this tiny Radeon GPU. To do that, we have to go into the BIOS, and now it's gonna be a bit of different settings depending on the model or the manufacturer, but I will try to cover them all. Before we go, promise me one thing. So if the video ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and a sub to support the channel. I'm trying to cover every single CPU and GPU in existence with those guides. With that said, Let's get into the BIOS and let's start tweaking. Okay, and here we are into the BIOS. Now, again, settings names are gonna change a bit, but I will try to tell you for every different motherboard vendor. What I have right here today is a Gigabyte B550. Now, you wanna go in the tweaker section, which depending on the manufacturer of your board, may be called AI tweaker, OC, overclocking, or something along those lines. Now, once you're here, first thing that we're gonna do, which is not actually under volt in itself, but it's very important, is you wanna go on your XMP or DOCP setting and make sure that you have it enabled, okay? So you wanna have it enabled on profile one. This is gonna make your DRAM run at the actual speed you're paying for, which is, which is my case is 3200 megahertz, as you can see right there. After you've done that, you wanna go until you find a setting that's called FCLK frequency, which is this one over here. So go on FCLK frequency, and now here you wanna put half of your memory speed. So if your memory is 3200, you wanna put 1600. If your memory was 3600, you would have put 1800, and hit enter. If you have it, you wanna go and find a UCLK div1 mode setting, and put this one to be equal to the memory clock. So what this is gonna do is dramatically improve your latency, okay? It's basically RAM tweaking on Ryzen. So after we've done that, we can then start with the actual undervolt itself. For the actual undervolt, you wanna first go and find something that's called CPU core ratio. Okay. So in my case, it's called CPU clock ratio right here, and I wanna put it to 40. Right here. Now, once you've done that, you then wanna go all the way down until you find something that's called CPU voltage or V-core, which in my case, it's this one, CPU V-core. We wanna put this one to 1.025 volts, okay? Right here, just like that. We have all of our settings done right. And if you wanna just do a CPU undervolt, static, you can close the video right now and you will actually be pretty happy already. However, in case you wanna go dynamic or in case you wanna get a bit of extra performance, you can stick around. But if you wanna close the video, you can close it right now, just copy this and you'll be fine. But remember to drop a like and a sub as you promised. But anyways, uh, in case you wanna get a bit more performance, you can push the CPU core ratio to 4.2. Now, if you do that, you're gonna get a bit more performance, but you're gonna need a bit more voltage. So on average, you're gonna need around 1.15 To make it stable. So with 1.15 and 4.2 you're gonna be stable. Now in case you want to just try and push it but uh, again most CPUs are gonna be unstable for that but if you want a maximum performance and want to try it out sometimes if you're lucky you maybe able to get 44 but for that you're gonna need 1.2 volts sometimes even 1.225 volts and your power consumption is gonna dramatically increase so I don't really recommend this. In case you don't want to do a static offset, you can put the core clock back on auto and put your V-core back on auto and then you can do two different ways to make it dynamic. You can either go on the CPU V-core and just go V-core offset and put minus 0.05 but here on my motherboard we cannot do it or we can do it in the other way and find something that's called precision boost overdrive put it on advanced, and this will unlock a few other settings for us, which is also what we're gonna need if we wanna overclock and undervolt the GPU inside the CPU. So in case you wanna do it dynamically, you can go inside the core optimizer, put it into all core, 
negative and give it just a nice 20 and uh, this is gonna basically improve your CPU but listen I prefer a static offset but if you're doing this just know that you will have to test this out now if you have a very unlucky CPU you're gonna be able to do 10 if you have a very lucky CPU you're gonna be able to do 30 I recommend 20 because it's a nice middle ground but again you need to test this out and if the PC crashes you just uh, decrease this number and with this part we finish the CPU under volting itself now GPU under volting is pretty easy you want to go on the GFX curve optimizer, which is basically the same, and put it on GFX curve optimizer, negative, and then in here, you want to put 10. I find that 10 is the sweet spot for those APUs. Uh, but again, like we did with the CPU, if you're very lucky, maybe you'll be able to get 20. Now, unfortunately, I have not been able to get 30 on any of my APUs so far, but maybe you'll be luckier than me and get 30 here as well. And uh, with this, we really covered it all and there's nothing else to do. And with that said, tutorial is over. So if you have any questions, as usual, you can drop a comment down below and I will try to answer. And uh, if it was helpful and you don't have any questions, maybe drop a like and maybe subscribe to help out the channel so you can cover every single piece of hardware in existence. And hopefully see you guys again in another one of my videos. Bye bye.